in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel. Very good. Can you describe this tunnel? It's like there were streams of light. Streams of light around it, mm -hmm. and it's like a roller coaster. A roller coaster. Well, you have the ability to slow down this roller coaster. So I'd like for you to find a momentum in the tunnel that feels good to you. Allow yourself to just slow it down to where you can look around and see what this tunnel is. What do you see? A hand. A hand. Mm -hmm. Describe this hand for me. What does it look like? Seems to be a, a Chinese emperor. A Chinese emperor? Mm -hmm. He has a beard. He has a beard. I cannot see him, or all of him, but I can just glimpse his hand. Mm -hmm. and uh, a long sleeve. Mm -hmm. A long sleeve. What color is the sleeve? Uh, I'm not sure he is alive. It's like it's a statue. It's like a statue. Yeah. Okay. Tell me more. You could slow it down in order for you to capture the information. Uh, it seems to me the setting is in China. Okay. Like the Far East. Far East. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. You can see a small boy. Small boy. Uh, Where is this boy? Uh, like in the country. Mm -hmm. There's a stream. What does this boy look like? Uh, very young. Mm -hmm. Not yet then. Mm -hmm. And he has like a straw hat. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He's just happy walking. Mm -hmm. There are mountains. There are mountains. Very good. It's not very coherent. I can see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And as the observer of this scene, do you have a body? Focus on the observer of this scene. I feel like I'm above. Mm -hmm. Like I'm floating. Mm -hmm. uh, I can feel like I have a yellowish robe, like the statue I had seen previously. Mm -hmm. Take a look at yourself closely. I have a black belt. A black belt. What is that? What's the significance of that black belt? Mastery. Mastery. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about what you look like. Are you male or female? I think it's a male being. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you're doing. Are you still floating? Yeah, it seems to me I'm above the ground. Mm -hmm. And I am spreading something to the earth. All right. Let's find out what it is that you're spreading. You'll know what it is. Like sparkles mm -hmm. for the harvest. For the harvest. So are you helping those 
that are farming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this that you're spreading? What kind of energy is it? Golden sparkling energy. Golden sparkling energy. Is this energy only for the earth? Or of the beings also? Right now it seems like I'm spreading it to the earth, to the crops. Okay. Very good. To nourish the people. Mm -hmm. To nourish the people. What does this golden sparkling energy do for the crops? They absorb it. Mm -hmm. And grow sturdy. And grow sturdy. Very good. So let's see what happens next. As you continue to float over the earth, where do you go to next? The ocean. The ocean. Tell me what happens. I move. Uh, when I move, I see like a stream that goes from the lens I was in mm -hmm. and drops to the ocean. Like there are cliffs, mm -hmm. white stone. Beautiful. And Lush forest. Lush forest. Deep blue ocean. How do you feel when you see all of this beautiful nature? Amazing. Mm -hmm. You can see birds. See birds. Mm -hmm. What do you do with the ocean? What connection do you have? I just rejoice. You rejoice. Mm. I'd like for you to take in that feeling deep within. <laughs> Feel it in every bit of your being. your feel oh, it's a beautiful earth beautiful earth are you from the earth is this your home Right now I feel like I'm energy being. You're an energy being, yes. But I can jump onto the earth. It's, mm -hmm. it's strange. <laughs> so what do you do to jump onto the earth? What form do you take when you jump onto the earth? I. It seems it's a male human form. A male. Mm -hmm. With yellow clothing. Mm -hmm. Bright yellow clothing. Mm -hmm. What does the clothing look like? <sighs> yellow pants. Mm -hmm. And uh, like a cloak that flows at the back. Mm -hmm. Are there any adornments on you? Take a look and see. I can still see 
that black belt. Black belt. Mm -hmm. What does your your face look like? I cannot see. You cannot see. Mm -hmm. Just the clothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you are on Earth, what does your surrounding look like? Um, I can see the image of a fox. Mm -hmm. The image of a fox. Who is this fox? <sighs> How does he connect with you? He's a friend. He's a friend. Tell me more. Tell me about this relationship with your friend, the fox. He's in the grass. Mm -hmm. And there are others with him. Hmm. Are they also foxes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we run together. The images are not very clear, but I feel like I run with them. Mm -hmm. Seems like a very happy time, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like we have a close relationship. Mm -hmm. Like they trust me. Yes. Do you have a relationship with anybody else on Earth? The little boy. The little boy. And his mother. Let's find out a little bit more about this little boy and his mother. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I'll tap your third eye, and you will be with the boy and his mother, taking a deep breath in now. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? There's a hut. Tell me more. A fireplace. A fireplace. Outside. Mm -hmm. And there are crops around. Like beans. Beans. Mm -hmm. The mother is quite young. She has long hair, mm -hmm. black hair. What else do you see? She's watering her crops. Mm -hmm. I cannot see it, but I feel it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What else do you see around? Are there any others with her? Rabbits. Mm -hmm. Rabbits? Yeah. Where do you see the rabbits? Next to the hut. Mm -hmm. On the straw. On the straw? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think there were people around. Mm -hmm. Use all of your senses so that you can feel their presence and know who they are. Who 
Who are the people who are there? In a marketplace. In a marketplace. It's like it's busy, mm -hmm. noisy, but it's, it's in the background. It's in the background. This hut is not in the marketplace, is it? No. No. So what is the importance of this marketplace? How does it relate to this woman? Does she go to the marketplace? She stays at home. She stays at home. So let's close the scene and move forward to the next important part of this scene. What else do you need to know about this mother and the little boy? She's old now. She's old now. Mm -hmm. She has gray hair, mm -hmm. dyed in a bun. She's lying on the cot mm -hmm. inside the hut. Is she alone or with others? People come to see her. Mm -hmm. Do you come to see her? Yeah, I watch. You watch? From a distance. Mm -hmm. Does she know that you watch? It's like I'm hiding. Mm -hmm. What do you do for this woman? It's like it's time. Mm -hmm. and she will go soon. So allow her to take her last breath and see what happens when she leaves that body. What happens? Is she able to see you now? She's moved out of the heart like energy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the heart has opened as a fountain mm -hmm. and she's moved out like, like a gem. Mm -hmm. And she's transformed into being with wings. <laughs> she's transformed into what? A being with wings. A being with wings. Mm -hmm. What happens next? She's. It's like she's kneeling down. Mm -hmm. What is your connection with this being now, as you watch? She's my mother. Mm -hmm. She's my mother. I can see an image of her. 
Mm-hmm. Like receiving a baby. Receiving a baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And who's this baby? Who is the baby she's receiving? This way. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So why has this being of light and rings with wings receive this baby? What is the purpose? Have you both being together? Have you also transformed? from that being in yellow to the baby. Yeah, the yellow energy gets into the baby. Mm -hmm. What is it about this yellow energy? What's the importance of it that this baby needs to have? I can see a fetus now. Mm-hmm. In the womb. And the yellow energy is still with the baby. Mm-hmm. It's the energy of the sun. The energy of the sun. How is this energy of the sun going to affect this baby? What does this baby do with this energy? We spread light wherever it goes. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Is this baby the baby Samira or someone else? Let's follow this baby then. Allow the fetus to get bigger and bigger until the baby is born. It is Samira. I can see the hospital where she was born. Mm. Very good. So what is it that Samira is born with? What is she to do with this energy of the sun within her? She has to spread the light. Mm -hmm. How is she going to do that? I can see like balls of yellow energy through Mm -hmm. her hands. Mm -hmm. And Bubbles of light that emanate from her. Mm -hmm. What happens with those bubbles when they emanate from her? Where do they go? To the trees. To the trees. Mm -hmm. Is she affecting the environment? Just like that golden being was affecting the crops? Is it the same energy? It is white now. 
It's white. Yeah. How has the color changed it? How has it changed the energy? Describe to me what happens with this light. It's like uh, streams of light mm -hmm. flowing through the trees. Mm -hmm. It's like they're mixing with the air currents of the wind. Mm -hmm. Going around. Spreading everywhere. Mm -hmm. And as the trees receive this light, what do they feel? What do they get from this light? They grow. They grow. Is she spreading her energy to anything else besides the trees? The earth. Insects. Mm -hmm. All plants. All plants. Before she was born, her mother felt the energy of a spider, and she has also. Does this have anything to do with this energy? What is the significance of the spiders? It's the energy of the earth. It's the energy of the earth. So is she receiving that energy or giving that energy? Can you give her a better explanation of this spider energy? How is it affecting her? The more you talk, the more I'll be able to assist. Um, can see. It doesn't look like spiders I have seen, but it's like an insect with... Mm -hmm. And it's digging a hole mm -hmm. in the earth. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. The earth has all the resources we need. The earth has all the resources we need. What is this insect digging this hole for? Is it receiving something from the earth? Goes there to be quiet. Goes there to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Be in communication. And be in communication. With the earth. With the earth. Does Samira do this also? 
Is she connecting to the earth? She loves to lie down. She likes to lie down? On the earth. Mm -hmm. Is she communicating with the earth? She hears the heartbeat of the earth. She hears the heartbeat of the earth. How does she hear that within her? How does it come across to her? Right now I heard it on my ears. How does that heartbeat sound? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful heartbeat. So now that she understands that she is connected to the earth, let's find out a little bit about all of these others that she is connected to. Who else is she connected to besides the earth? Um, a strange visual mm -hmm. of a skeleton. The skeleton. Mm -hmm. What kind of skeleton? There's many types. Human skeleton. Human. Yeah, and he was bending over, mm -hmm. and he just raised himself up, mm -hmm. and it's like he's in a tree. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with the skeleton. Mind to mind, what is the skeleton wanting to say today? Why is the skeleton not in the ground or on a body? Is alive. The tree is alive. Mm -hmm. It has consciousness. It has consciousness. We can talk to them. Mm -hmm. Is the skeleton talking with the tree? What does Samira need to know with this scene? She needs to keep talking to the trees. Keep talking with the trees. Very good. And I know that when one speaks with the earth, that we connect on a different level. And she's very confused about the difference between insect, instinct, intuition, and guidance. Is the earth guiding her in any way? Or is that coming from somewhere else? She's connected to the core of the earth. Mm -hmm. Would you show her the core of the earth? Show her how she's connected? What kind of connection does she have with the core? Can't see. Mm -hmm. Just feel it. Feel the connection. What does it feel like to be connected with the core of the earth? 
can see a human being. A human being. But seated like within the tree. Mm-hmm. It roots deep down. The roots are deep down? Into the earth. Mm-hmm. The earth sustains. While she is connected so deeply to the earth, what message does the earth want to give her today? message is received from the earth. To tell people to connect to the earth. Connect to the earth. In what way? To sit on the earth. To sit on the earth. And be with the trees. And be with the trees. To be close to the trees. To be close to the trees. And feel their energy. And feel their energies. Does it matter what type of tree is connected to them? Are some trees better than others to connect to the earth? All trees. All trees. Some people live in very dense cities with very little trees. How do they connect to the earth? They can sit and meditate. They can sit and meditate. Mm-hmm. And imagine they are trees. And imagine they are trees. Mm. Can you speak louder so I can hear you? So no matter where, we can take on the energy of a tree and with using our imagination and going yes. deep within the earth. And what will that do? for us humans. What? What will that do for us humans to connect this way? We have all the resources we need. We have all the resources we need. And if we connect to the earth, Mm -hmm. we'll be able to tap into this abundance. Ah. So, abundance comes from tapping into the earth? Yeah. Mm. Any type of abundance? Any you need. Any you need. So, for example, health. If we were not abundant in health, How would sitting on the earth assist us in regaining our health once again? The earth will regulate your vitality. Mm -hmm. It will regulate our vitality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a fountain. Like a fountain. The body will absorb the energy Mm -hmm. and it will flow up. It's like you can absorb the energy from the root chakra. Mm-hmm. 
have it move up through the trunk of the body through the arms and legs and the and overflow above the head mm -hmm. so we just have to imagine as if our root chakra was deep within the earth and allow that energy to flow up through our branches and overflow out yes mm. how often do we need to do this in order to restore our health as often as you want as much as we want yes very good is this something that Samira does herself She's been doing that. She has been doing it. She has a tree outside mm -hmm. of her window. Mm -hmm. And she has lived the four seasons of a tree. Mm -hmm. She's lived the four seasons of a tree. Now, do we connect mentally with the earth or just through energy? Can we hear the thoughts of the earth if she is alive? We can. We can. How can one connect with the thoughts of the earth? Many ways. Many ways. Walking. Okay. Walking. Barefoot. Mm -hmm. Listening. Listening. Talking to it. Mm -hmm. So you just have to talk to nature. Very good. Now when you told her how to move the energy up like a tree, she tells me that she has her own blockages. Is her energy being blocked from flowing? Is there something holding her from flowing like this fountain? She's holding on. She's holding on. What is she holding on to? that she's holding on to. Let's find that blockage. She's afraid. She's afraid. What is it that she's afraid of? She hides. Would you be willing to allow me to find out what she's hiding from? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you to assist her in going back to the origin of what made her hide and made her block herself with this fear. I want you to find that blockage in her body. Scan this body and find the blockage. Where is it? Where 
Where in her body is this blockage, this fear? At the solar plexus. At the solar plexus, all right. But it's linked to the base of the spine. It's linked to the base of the spine. So let's find out what is there. I'd like for you to begin to dive deep into the solar plexus. Diving deeper and deeper, getting smaller and smaller to determine what is inside the solar plexus that is connected to the base of the spine. What's there? What is this blockage? What does it look like? What does this blockage look like? Perhaps the color, shape, or texture. You can see yellow energy at the base of the spine. Yellow energy. Mm -hmm. Like a face. Like a face. Face. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that face. What does that face look like? It's a vase. What is it? Vase. A vase. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's cold and vase. Mm -hmm. A cold and vase. Is there anything inside of the vase? It's spreading. It is spreading. Fragrance. Fragrance. What kind of fragrance? It is the fragrance of? The white bubbles. The white bubbles. Where are they going to? Above? Up high. Through the spine. Mm -hmm. It's like it's exiting outside. Mm -hmm. On top of the head. Up above the head. And what do these bubbles consist of? What are this? What is this energy? What are the properties of these bubbles? Lightness. Lightness. Mm -hmm. Now you said that it was connected, this vase with these bubbles, to her solar plexus. Why have these bubbles not gone into her solar plexus to give her lightness? What's in that solar plexus? It's like a vortex, a dark vortex. It's like a dark vortex in her solar plexus? Yeah. Mm hmm So what I'd like to do is I'd like to find the origin of this vortex to see when it originated. I'd like for you to begin going deep into this vortex to the beginning of when it began. What does this vortex feel like? What comes up? What is this arc energy all about? What do you feel? Egypt. Egypt. I'd like for you now to follow the vortex. I'm going to count from five to one to find the origin. Five, four, three, two.
two and one. Be there now. Are you indoors or outdoors? Connect with your environment. Where are you? Mm, see the pyramid. I see the pyramids. Do you have a body there? I don't know, but I can say the pyramid is top. Has it golden top? Golden top. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there's a kind of a structure in the form of petals. Mm -hmm. What is this structure? Where is it? On the top of the pyramid, but on one of the faces. Mm -hmm. So there's a structure in the form of petals on the top of the pyramid? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this structure made out of? Uh, it's gold. Gold. Mm -hmm. What does this structure do? It's this. It's connected to other spaces. What kind of spaces? It's out of space. Out of space. Tell me more about this that you're looking at. The ego keeps interfering. Ah, all right. So let's go even deeper. Allow yourself now to go to sleep. Deeper. 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 As you hear the sound of my voice. Allow yourself to go into this beautiful state, void of any ego and interference, connecting only with those messages and information that are meant for you today. See yourself now completely in that space with the pyramids. Describe what you're seeing and feeling. I hear priestess. Hi, priestess. I hear priestess. I hear a priestess. Mm. Can see my boats mm -hmm. made of wood. Boots made of wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. And and at the front of the boat, at the edge, mm -hmm. uh, there's like a dragon. A dragon shape. Mm -hmm. head. And people are rowing the boat. They're rowing the boat. Yeah. Okay. There are two of them. Mm -hmm. Look at your own body there. What do you look like? Look down at your feet. Leather sandals. Leather sandals. Mm hmm. How are you dressed? Do 
You'll know what it feels like. Oh, that's heavy jewelry. Heavy jewelry. Mm -hmm. Where are you wearing this heavy jewelry? Where on the body is this heavy, heavy jewelry? It's like it's, uh, around the collar and it drops down quite low. So it's on the collar and around the chest? Uh, yeah, on mm -hmm. both sides. Uh, it's probably shaped with uh, uh, and black mm -hmm. and there are stones. There are stones. Are yeah. these crystals? Turquoise. Turquoise. And something reddish too. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on your head? Kind of a headdress, but uh, with metal and the black material mm -hmm. as well, like striped. Mm -hmm. And feel your head. Feel the shape of your head. Does it have hair? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. There's a headdress like a hat. Like a hat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's underneath that hat? Is there any hair? Shaved. Shaved. Mm -hmm. And is your head shaped round? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Round but pointed at the back. Pointed at the back. Okay. How old are you there? Young, young, not mm -hmm. not so, not a kid, not a child, but mm -hmm. still young. Mm -hmm. The eyes are made up like uh, oh. the, with um, black paste. Black paste. And as you look at yourself on that boat, is that where you are? Look at those who are with you on the boat. Who are they? Others are rowing the boat. I am not. You are not. And as you see these others rowing the boat, are they close to you or far away? Uh, they are rowing down on the decks. They are down on the decks. But I am sitting on a kind of throne. On a throne. Are you the same size as those that are rowing the boat? You say you're young. Are they bigger than you or smaller than you? They look like slaves. They look like slaves. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about those men? I have power over them. 
I have power over them. Where are they taking you today? It's like a running competition. Mm. A boating competition. A boating competition. Is there anyone in the other boat that you saw before? There were people wearing the boat too. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in the other boat? Uh, there's someone else on the boat. Who is that? She's the partner. Your partner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's female. She's female. Mm -hmm. Is she also a priestess? Is she the same as you? in rank, in society. It's not clear. It's not clear. Well, let's move forward then to a time that is clear to find out the significance of this lifetime. I'd like for you to close the scene and move forward to the next important scene in that lifetime, a scene that affected you. Be there now. Are you indoors or outdoors? I'm in the ocean. Tell me more. I have a fish tail. I have a fish tail. Blue hair. Blue hair. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. What do you do in the ocean? I swim and dive. I swim and dive. Mm hmm. How do you feel in this life? Free. Free. Tell me more. Go to the surface and soak in the energy of the sun. Mm -hmm. You soak in all the energy in the surface. What do you do with that energy? Is this how you live, off the energy of the sun? Or do you need to nourish yourself with something else? The more you talk, the more I'll be able to assist you. 
doesn't feel like I eat. Mm -hmm. Do you just live off of the sun? The energy of the ocean, too. The energy of the ocean, very good. Is this ocean on planet Earth or self somewhere else? Earth. Earth, very good. So let's close that scene. Close that scene. I want you to go back to that lifetime in Egypt and find out what happened in that lifetime in Egypt? What happened significant in that lifetime? Be there now. Where are you? I can't, I cannot see my face. Mm -hmm. And I have the feeling of like uh, necklaces, like rings around mm -hmm. around the neck. Mm -hmm. How do those necklaces feel to you? Heavy. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of this of this necklace? How is it affecting you? Connect with that necklace. Does it have some sort of feeling to it? There's an indication of power. Indication of power. But those necklaces seem to weigh very much around your neck. Not happy about the power. Mm, not happy about the power. Tell me why. How are you using that power? Gives me the right to have slaves. It gives you the right to have slaves. And how is that affecting you? Not happy about that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go now to the last day of your lifetime in that life in Egypt. Skip to the last day now and tell me where you are. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Indoors. Look around you. What do you see? What is this place where you are? It's dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to adjust your inner vision and see through the eyes of spirit and tell me what this place is that's so dark. But 
like an inner chamber like a chamber what do you see inside this chamber Look around you, you could see with the eyes of spirit. It's quite small. It's quite small. Mm -hmm. There are paintings on the walls. Mm -hmm. Paintings. Green and red. Green and red paintings. Mm -hmm. What are these paintings all about? Inscriptions. Mm -hmm. Inscriptions. Tell me and more. there are statues. Statues. Mm -hmm. Of cats. Of cats. What is the significance of cats to you? Being alert. Mm -hmm. What is it that they need to alert in this chamber? They are watching over her dead body. Mm. Dead already. It was this body sick? Or old? Old. Old. So as spirit, you could understand the lifetime of this priestess. You could understand the purpose and the lessons that she lived. She was very burdened with her power. Why is that? affecting the lifetime now of Samira. She's afraid of her power. She's afraid of her power. Mm -hmm. What did she do with her power in that lifetime that she's so afraid of repeating now? Afraid of taking control, mm -hmm. of being con in control of this, mm -hmm. deciding for others. Yes. But this fear of this power is totally paralyzing her now from moving forward. It's blocking her solar plexus. Is this priestess still living within her own soul with regrets? Does this priestess need to forgive herself for the misuse of this power? Yes. Yes. Would you allow me now to assist her with this? Yes. Very good. So let me connect now with this priestess. And I'd like to ask this priestess, all of those things that you did with this power, can you understand that that came with the responsibility of that that job, that that anointment of you being a priestess? Did you understand that? 
that came with that lifetime. And it was an experience. Can you understand that it was an experience that you lived of having power over others? It was misused. It was misused. Can you forgive yourself for making that mistake of misusing that power, not knowing how that power can be used to hurt others? We all do things that hurt. Sometimes, for example, we can see the fire. Fire can be used to do many things, to make our meals. But if you stick your fingers in that fire, it burns. It's very powerful energy. Can you see now how your power was something that you didn't know how to use? You were just learning how to use that power. Can you accept that? Would you like to ask for forgiveness of all those that you hurt? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now to see all of those souls before you. And I'd like for you now to connect your heart with theirs. And I'm going to help by putting my heart over yours and making the connection. And I'd like for you to ask all those souls if they forgive you for not knowing how to use your power. Connect with them now. Please forgive me. They forgive you. And now you need to forgive yourself. Are you ready to pull out all of this pain that you've been holding? For blaming yourself of not knowing how to use this power? Pull it all out. Forgiveness does not mean that it does not happen. It's just stopping the pain now understanding, knowing, and accepting, and being at peace. Pull it all out. You didn't know how to use this power. You were just doing what everybody else did, and they forgive you. And uh, let's pull that out and send it to the universe. Is there anything left from that power in there? Any pain? Feel it. There's a big empty space now. Yes. We need to fill that. Yeah. What would you like to fill that with? What would you like to fill that space with? Kindness. Let's fill it with kindness. Feel that kindness going into your heart flowing through and as you fill yourself with kindness you'll be able to give kindness to others in return feel it in your heart and in your mind as i tap your mind with that kindness what else would you like to put in there put lots of love in there feel that love just flowing through there flowing through with every beat of your heart feel that love flow put that love in your heart and in your mind And now with all of that kindness and love in your heart, is there anything else that you need to feel complete? Gentleness. Gentleness. As you put gentleness in there, feel how that radiates out with so much power that you have, that gentle power that will be able to flow that kindness and love with it. Feel that in your heart and in your mind. How does that feel now? Good. Good. And now that you have all of that kindness and love and gentleness, I'd like for you to see how that has affected now the lifetime of Samira. How it has affected the way she interacts with others. The way she does all of her interactions. Even the way she interacts with beings of other dimensions. 
How does that affect her now? Being afraid mm -hmm. of not giving enough space. Mm -hmm. Will she be able to give enough space now? She will. She will. And okay. she's. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. She won't be afraid to show a light now. Mm. How will that change her now that she radiates that light with so much power? Her light will empower others. Her light will empower others. Beautiful. We show them their light. Mm -hmm. Very good. And they will all shine. And they will all shine. Good. So is she going to be changing the way she does her interactions with people? Or will it be automatic as she shines her light? She's going to be more confident. More confident. So no more stressed out when meeting new people? No. No. And what about these issues she's had in her own body? Has that been the blockage of this power? Yeah, she's not digested. Mm-hmm. And she had to liberate herself of that. She had to liberate herself of that energy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Take a look at her body now. How does it look? Is it flowing? Yeah, there is space for energy to flow. Very good. And I know that she does a lot of energy work with Qigong and Tai Chi. How will this release of this blockage help her now when she does these spiritual practices? Take a look at that flow. She'll be able to tap into the energy. She'll be able to tap into the energy. Mm -hmm. Now she tells me that she is in communication with other beings. When she does this practice, when she does meditation, and Qigong. Who are these beings? They are guides. They are guides. What have they been trying to guide her? Friends. They are friends. Has she been pushing them away with her fear? She was afraid. Mm -hmm. Well, some of them look rather odd, don't they? From a human perspective. Who are these guides? Where are these friends from? They are my 
masters. They're masters. Mm -hmm. There are three in particular that she spoke about. The blue beings. The blue man and the female blue being. Who are these master teachers and guides? What do they want to tell her? The answer is love. So that's all they're trying to teach her is to love? It's the message of everything. That's the message of everything. So was she not loving herself because of this power? She was what? She had not forgiven herself. She had not forgiven herself. So now that she has forgiven herself, what does she need to do now to connect a lot more with these guides to receive their message? She can call on them. Mm -hmm. She can call on them. They want to come. Mm -hmm. And teach. Will it be able? To, will she be able to have a two-way communication with them? She will communicate. She will communicate. What can she do when her ego begins to interfere like it did today? It's still interfering. It still is. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to stop that interference? She knows how to meditate. She knows how to quiet her mind. How can she quiet her ego? Stop thinking too much. Mm -hmm. She had a communication with a being that had spikes on their head. What was the reason for that being to come to her? What, rewiring? Has she been totally rewired or will she, they continue to rewire her? It's in progress. In progress. And what will happen once this rewiring is done? How will she be different? Restructuring the body. Restructuring the body. What is happening with the body at this time that needs restructuring? What is it? I can see. Like uh, a sh too 
geometric shape. Geometric shape. Mm -hmm. Like crystals. Mm -hmm. So is her body becoming more crystalline? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's creating the light body. She's creating the light body. Is that why she was guided to work on her brain? That this being with the pointed cones on her head, was she guiding her to, to do this? Mm -hmm. is, uh, she can also access information. She can also access information. What kind of information is she accessing? It's like the universe is a supercomputer. Mm -hmm. And we are the nodes on this network. So the universe is a supercomputer and we, the humans, are nodes? We are the nodes. We are the nodes on the network. On the network. Mm -hmm. And through the network, we can access all information. Mm -hmm. So how do these nodes wake up? to be able to access this network, the supercomputer. There's a time. There's a time. Is it happening to some of these nodes? Are they all lighting up? And they're all lighting up? Mm -hmm. How is the progress of Samira? in this network. She's waking up. She's waking up. Very good. It's now in it's, progress. It's in progress. Now she tells me that there are some council members that watch her. Who is this council? What is this council? Would you connect her with that council now? How many are on this council? I hear eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. How is she connected with this council? She sits there. She sits on the council. But it seems that this council also watches her. She's on a mission. She's on a mission. Can you tell me what this mission is that she's on? What is the purpose that she's here on planet Earth at this time? To spread love. To spread love. Mm-hmm. Is that with her energy? Love is power. Love is power. Mm -hmm. But she's been hiding her love and power, only keeping it for a few. How can she accomplish this mission in the future? She has to reach out. Mm -hmm. What 
Will this mission be accomplished in the type of work that she does or just in her everyday interactions? She is where she has to be. She is where she has to be. So her job is fine. Yeah, she mm. reaches out. She reaches out. Mm -hmm. Anything else that she's required to do on this mission with this love, this power? Teaching a new way of being. Mm -hmm. That's based on love. That's based on love. Will she be doing this through meditative work? She does it by being connected. Mm -hmm. Wherever she is, and that's why the guides watch her when she's at work. Mm -hmm. Why do they watch her when she's at work? It's a reminder. Mm -hmm. To connect? To reach out? To connect again. Spread the energy of love. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying that in whatever work she does, she needs to do it with love? Yes. Okay, good. It's like... Yeah. It can transform the nature mm -hmm. of interactions wherever you are. And whatever you are doing, this is how the vibration of the earth will uplift. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wherever you are, in all mundane tasks. So where you're, wherever you are, spreading that love will raise the vibration. Yes. Okay. Good. To the people, to the animals, mm -hmm. to the trees, to the earth. It's all connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all man made structures too. Wonderful. Now she says she has a blockage in writing. Did this have anything to do with this power from Egypt? Did she put things in writing? He has a scribe. A scribe? She had a scribe? I don't know, I just hear the word scribe. Scribe. Mm -hmm. Was she ever a scribe? She wrote very poetic writings. Potent. Potent writings. When was this? In the scrolls. In the where? Scrolls. In the scrolls. Mm -hmm. What did she write that now she's afraid of writing? energy can be used right or wrong could be used right or wrong she 
she's afraid of discerning right from wrong. She's afraid of discerning right from wrong. Mm -hmm. But her guides are with her. Why is she afraid of discerning when she has guidance that she can connect with all the way from the earth? She's getting used to the guidance. All right, very good. So she will be making quite a bit of change now that she has released all of that guilt that she had inside of her and accepting more guidance. She will let the energy flow. She will let the energy flow. Very good. Now part of the energy is knowing when to use the energy. How will she know the difference between whether it's her own instinct whether it's intuition or guidance, does it make any difference? She has to trust her instinct. She has to trust her instinct. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the same body. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the same intelligence. Mm -hmm. So as a node, she's tapping in, no matter in which direction, no matter what program she's using, she's always tapped in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can we talk a little bit about her meditation? She tells me that when she meditates, she enjoys it but she refrains from doing it. Why has she blocked herself from feeling so good? She's afraid of the light and she's, the power. She's afraid of the light and the power. Is she or was she afraid? She won't be anymore. All right, good. But sometimes when she meditates, when she comes back, she feels very energetic before she goes to sleep. Is she tapping into that power? She has to set intentions. Okay. So set boundaries as to what she's going to receive from that meditation? Yes. Okay. When she meditates, she just sits and she lets experiences happen. Mm -hmm. She needs to start setting intentions. Okay so that she won't encounter beings during meditation, for example? She could set that intention to have a restful that meditation? They will come if they have a message okay. that she needs. She's not afraid of them anymore. Okay, very good. Very good. What else would you like to tell her about her meditation? She has to make it a regular habit. Okay, how often should she meditate? At least once a day. Mm -hmm. For how long? Forty minutes. Forty minutes, very good. Anything else that she needs to do? with her meditation. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. And connect to the energy. Just be quiet and connect with the energy. Very good. Can you tell me a little bit about what happens when she sleeps? She says she has a feeling of being very tired when she wakes up and almost has to take another nap before she wakes up. What's happening during her sleep time? Just curious and she walks around. She walks around? She's curious about the universe. She's curious about the universe. Mm -hmm. She wants to know everything. Mm -hmm things work. Yes. She's learning. 
So how can she set boundaries before she goes to sleep so that her soul can travel but her body can rest? Quiet relaxation. Quiet relaxation before she sleeps. Yeah. And okay. the intention to allow the body to rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And when she does go to sleep, is she actually creating things? Is she actually doing things as she finds information? She connects to the network. She connects with the network. Mm -hmm. It's like a neural network. Like a neural network? Mm -hmm. Oh, this. I can see a neural network with terminals sharing information. Mm -hmm between themselves as each one learns as each node learns mm -hmm. this information is shared and as it is shared the intelligence gains power very good. Is that why more people are waking up more and more? Because the nodes are all connected to this intelligence? Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's like a crystal shape. Mm -hmm. All nodes interconnected. Reminds her of fractals. Mm -hmm. Does she happen to go to this space when she meditates? Or does she go somewhere else? She can be right here, mm -hmm. but everywhere. Are you saying that she is multidimensional? Yes, we can all be. We can all be. How can we do something like that? Be here and elsewhere. Just open the mind to mm -hmm. connect. We are all energy. Mm -hmm. We're all energy. The body is an aspect of who we are. Mm -hmm. And anyway, we are connected to the network. Mm -hmm. As with the internet, mm -hmm. we each have a terminal, mm -hmm. but through the network, we access information that's hosted in all parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. So we are actually connecting with intelligence in the earth and elsewhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. And talking about this concept, she has a lot of resistance with the concept of God. Why is that? What does she need to know? She wants to experience what God is and comes to terms with this all, all this struggle. She has to accept. Mm -hmm. Accept. That each person has his own experience. Mm -hmm. So if each person has his own experience, what is the experience that she is looking for? when it comes to God. God for her is a unified field. A unified field? Mm -hmm. No 
beginning. No one. It is everything that has existed and will exist. It is everything that has existed and will exist. Can she understand that? Yes. Very good. It is the source of manifestation. It's the source of manifestation. Does everybody have access to this source? Yes. Mm -hmm. can as you conceive. As you can see? As you conceive. As you conceive. So you manifest. So you manifest. So why is it that some people can manifest a beautiful life and other people, such as those who have no homes and no money, live the way they do? Why can they not manifest that type of life like everyone else? It was the intention of the experience. It was the intention of the experience. Okay. It's a game here. Mm -hmm. We come to play. But it's very difficult for Samira to accept that. She wants to be able to do something about it. What advice do you give her about that? She just needs to open her heart mm -hmm. and give love. This is what everybody is looking for. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to feel loved. And she has to spread out the message that we are love. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. By Which... being love mm -hmm. and sharing this vibration comes back to the whole network. This is what she is transmitting. Mm -hmm. And it will catch up on all terminals. Wonderful. Will she ever find love in a partner? Was she holding herself back from that too? She's here looking for experiences. Mm -hmm. She's not yet keen on settling down. Mm -hmm. So she enjoys her life yeah, the way it is. She has a good time. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? that I haven't asked that you would like to tell Samira today? She likes stones a lot. She likes stones. Mm -hmm. She should continue to play with stones. Keep them clean. And those stones that she has on her today how are those stones helping her? To expand. What is it? To expand. To expand. So that quartz that is on her heart, is it expanding her heart? To expand and have access. And have access. Very good. Is there anything else that you need to tell her today? For example, the reason you brought her here today. She needs to trust. She needs to trust. Very good. Is there anything else that you need to tell Samira today or are we complete?
She has to lose that ego. To lose the ego. What is the best way to lose that ego? Talk to it with love. Talk to it with love. Very good. It's good advice for everyone. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you so much. Completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. <laughs> I didn't bubbly? feel yeah feel bubbly yeah I feel good but it wasn't like I didn't feel like I was away I was just I was here of course you were <laughs> they weren't going anywhere. it was like a meditation yeah but you were pretty deep I think so yeah I didn't I, I didn't I mean sometimes my my ego was popping in and yeah. was saying but well, you you're not in hypnosis of course it was well, that's what the ego always says it's almost like they pay the ego to say that while you're here you know <laughs> yeah, you did great. How long do you think the session was? What did it feel like to you? Did it feel quick or what? 30, 45 minutes? Mm, we're on two hours. Is it? Seriously? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> two hours. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, I, I really felt awake. Yes. And it really felt like one of my meditation sessions yeah. except that I was speaking yes and you were speaking to me yeah and so it felt like 30 or 40 minutes yeah mm -hmm. a lot longer wow you did great thank you <laughs> thank you it was very emotional wasn't it some yeah. parts yeah how do you feel now how's your body feel you feel flowing yeah mm. rested rested well that's it that's good. <laughs> you did wonderful. So is this something you want to share? You think it's worth sharing? It's got a lot of cool stuff. It's all about the power of love. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> it was pretty. It, was, it, was, it wasn't like anything, you know, uh, devastating. The only thing was... No, it really wasn't anything. You know, that mm -hmm. Egyptian priestess who just felt that she was not... Very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use overusing her power. Yeah. Well, once I went to see an astrologer, mm -hmm. and and he he told me that uh, his method of analyzing the astrology was uh, he he just you know look at the time when you mm -hmm. came into into the place mm -hmm. where he was, and he told me that he saw me as part of the mafia or something like that somewhere <laughs> and, 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 and yeah but I, I mean but that's it's, not the it's, it's probably but different but somewhere yes. it's 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 using a kind of exactly yeah. yeah so you kept using the power mm -hmm. but that's the lifetime that really affected mm -hmm. you the most mm -hmm. Samira <laughs> yes two hours <laughs> I, can't, I still can't believe it wow I, I guess that it was so it felt so like I was in a meditation you know yes like a usual meditation that I wouldn't have thought it was hypnosis Unless you had told me it was two hours when I yes. felt like it was 30 to 40 minutes. Yes, and you remember everything? I think so. Pretty much, huh? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. I, felt, I felt awake and towards the end, I could even see the light going coming through. The window? Through, through, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Very yeah. good. So, um, you had never been officially hypnotized before. No, it was just a group uh, regression a group. we had. Now, I have seen Samira before. Tell them where we know each other from. Uh, so we met in Barcelona. In Barcelona. <laughs> in she February. Went, yeah, in a <laughs> gathering. So this is, uh, where are we now? Like four months ago? or uh, No, not even. Not even. Three months ago. Like February, March, April. No, not even. Like two months ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I have to say, I came across you in January. I came to your gathering in February. Uh, and the news that I came out in March, I registered. <laughs> I was in in the in, in the in the underground metro. Actually, I I saw, <laughs> I saw the the email uh, for 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 telling us that you were sending out the newsletter. Uh, I think it was uh, on a Thursday. Yes. And I just went to see where was Miami and all because I've never been on this side. <laughs> Tell <laughs> them where you're from. 
I am Mauritian. I live. I mean, I am from a tiny island in the Indian Ocean, southeast of. Africa. Tell them what it's called. Mauritius. Mauritius. Yeah, and, but I, I work in in Paris. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, in in four months, all of this has happened. Yeah. 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 Amazing. I, I had to be here. <laughs> And that's how it works. Yeah. People wonder, how does that happen? And it's like divine timing. Yeah, and usually I don't have the network when I'm in the metro because it's underground. Yes. And on that day, I mean, it just got out of my mind that you were going to send the, the newsletter. And, and normally when I'm in the metro, I don't even look at my phone. So <laughs> it, it just buzzed. I had a look, I saw the newsletter, I clicked and I was going to uh, type my, my, my information. Uh, it came on automatically. I was reviewing the message. It was like I, I, I had the feeling, please click, click, click. And I clicked. <laughs> And when I did it, I called my mom and I said, do you know what I did? <laughs> now I have to go all the way from Paris to Miami to see her. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And we had a beautiful session. Beautiful yeah. session. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you feel it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Uh, would you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Absolutely. Please come and Alba is great. Yeah, that was really great. <laughs> and tell them about the gatherings. Um, so we had this gathering in Barcelona and mm -hmm. we were around, I think, 12 participants. It was only 12 people, mm -hmm. very small mm -hmm. group. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we were uh, 12 people from five different countries. I think it was even more countries. I think it was more countries mm -hmm, mm -hmm. represented. It was amazing mm -hmm. how many different uh, groups, and we had different languages being spoken yeah, there. Yeah, so, so we did the exercises in, in three groups. No, I mean more than three groups, but there were three Three languages. languages, that's right. And we were supposed to have groups of three, and funny thing is that three people were speaking Spanish and three people were speaking French. So, so I yes. got to be in the French group. The French group, group. yeah. And, uh, and what's nice is that we created a WhatsApp group and we keep in touch and share how we are progressing. Isn't that beautiful? And, 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 and things that, uh, that uh, we come across, if there's interesting information, we share oh, that. That's so nice. Yeah, so I would say hi to them all. <laughs> Me too. And love to them all. <laughs> yes. And that's what's a beautiful thing about coming to these gatherings is that when everybody shows up, you're all kind of like, who are these mm. people? And then after a while, you just create a bond and it was, it's so beautiful. So if you get to go to one of these, it really, it really is nice. You get to meet new people. So uh, I hope I get to meet you either at one of these sessions. Keep your phone on when, when my uh, newsletter comes out or go to one of the gatherings. So in order for you to subscribe, to get uh, one of these newsletters, as she was saying, these emails, uh, go to my website, I'm gonna put it right above me, uh, to the newsletter link and subscribe. And it comes out about once a month. And I'll tell you, there's a lot, a lot of people around the world who are trying to get a session. So you have to be really quick. Yeah, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you're meant to be here, you will be here. And uh, mm -hmm. for the last couple of people who have been here, it's been like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been very fortunate to just get a session. Mm -hmm. Detach from the outcome. Stop trying so much. Just put it out there and just be ready when it comes. So thank you for joining me. I know this was a really long one, but if you made it this far, I appreciate um, you being with me. Until the next time. Thank you. Bye. Love. <laughs> mm.